Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you who may or may not already know, my name is Alex, aka Yellowberry. I'm like, damn, you so fine, girl. What is your sign? She say I'm a Sagittarius. I'm a Capricorn, the beginning and end. I got a Wait, I don't bite. And by the title of today's video, you already know why you are here. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. If you guys watched one of my previous videos, you know that Sephora had their holiday savings event and your girl got her 20% off. So I went a little crazy, not too crazy, but you know, a little crazy because you know, your girl, she's a little frugal. So I don't even want to buy nothing. I be wanting to finish all of my products before I pick up anything but i don't know as of lately like i started falling in love with makeup again i started falling in love with trying different things so i want to show you guys all the things that i purchased during this sephora holiday savings event so without further ado let's get into this video <coughs> all right the box is not that heavy but this is my package so opening this package up so here is my invoice. So I did purchase one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight items. Before we get into it, comment down below what things that you believe that I purchased from this sale, from my wish list. Comment down below. Let's see if you're right. So let's start off small. So in one of my videos, I was talking a little hot, talking a little crazy, because I know I always have some type of eyelash situation going on. Let me check my lashes right now. All right, they're right. They, 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 they could be better, but they're right. So I was saying to you guys that I really, really, really loved this, let me get it out, House of Lashes Eyelash Adhesive. And when I say I loved it, I meant like, I really loved the application of it. So I love the fact that it's a brush. You can just brush it on your eyelash band. I love that. However, I did not love the eyelash glue itself. I felt like my eyelashes were still coming off. Every time I turn around, the front is flipping up. It was just doing too much. But then I started to fall in love with duo eyelash glue. But then I started talking hot like, dang, I don't like the applicator on this eyelash glue because it's kind of messy, even though I'm a little skillful now. You know, it's kind of messy. And I was just saying like, you know, I thought that they would come out with a eyelash adhesive that has a brush. <laughs> I put my foot in my mouth, y'all. So, during this holiday savings event, I did pick up the Duo Eyelash Glue, and guess what, and guess what? It has a brush! I don't know who I thought I was talking down on Duo like that, but let me tell you right now, they changed the game. They are the king and the queen of eyelash adhesive. If you have not tried Duo Eyelash Glue as yet, make sure that you try it because all these other glues is just, <laughs> And I like that Duo Glue is very affordable. I think for my House of Lashes glue, it was a little on the pricey side. It wasn't like $30 or anything like that, but for some glue, it was kind of pricey. And for it to not have worked the way I wanted it to work, it just wasn't giving. However, I really did love the application, but now I get the best of both worlds. I get my favorite glue, and I also get my favorite kind of eyelash applicator. So. Thank you so much Duo for making this and I do wanna apologize for sticking my foot in my mouth and not do my research before I was out here just, just slandering y'all. So let me just take this eyelash glue out. That is garbage and I'm gonna stick my new baby in there. <laughs> the next item that I purchased, let me just dig in. Okay, I grabbed this. Ooh, I forgot I ordered her. As you can see, she's still in the bubble wrap. So now let's pull this bad boy out. Isn't she gorgeous? So this is the Pat McGrath Labs Divine Blush and Glow Trio. So this is the packaging. She is really, 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 really nice. And you open the back like this. Slide this bad girl out and the front of it looks exactly like the box. That is so cute. And in the back, it tells you what they are. Let's open her up. <gasps> She's beautiful. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I love it. Let me swatch this color for you guys. So this color I'm about to swatch for you is Love Struck. Or is this Venus Nectar? No, I think she's Venus Nectar. She's Paradise Venus and she's Love Struck. So the highlight is Love Struck. So I just did Venus Nectar. Oh, this is a beauty. All right, so highlighter color, Love Struck. 
Paradise Venus is in the middle and the last one is Venus Nectar. I love her a lot. And I do want to mention that I did dig deep in this palette to get these swatches just now. So I can definitely just make this lighter for a blush. It's not going to be as vibrant as it is, but if you do want it to be that vibrant, shit, go ahead, do what you want. But I do want to mention that it's buildable. So that was the second item that I purchased. Now let's dig in here again. Ooh, ooh, so I didn't tell you guys about her, but this is the Lawless Conceal the Deal Long Wear Full Coverage Foundation. I did purchase this foundation in the color Amber, and I did swatch this, but I also swatched it for you guys, and it was a really great color match, so if you guys are around my skin color, Amber might be the girl for you. I was actually very shocked to see how tiny, like tiny, tiny that this foundation bottle is because like why is my foundation so tiny but she is full coverage she's long wearing and self-setting and I, that i can attest to when i did do a nice swatch on my face honestly my face looked like butter i will do a full review on this foundation for you guys in the upcoming videos but girl she is that girl let me just swatch her real quick let me shake her <laughs> clean af i've never realized that so i'm gonna put like a drip on the back of my hand and when you are looking for a color they do show you that on the website this foundation does have to dry down so when you initially put it on it's going to be light and then they show you what the dry down color is going to look like so if you do purchase this foundation and it's like damn this is light give it some time it will dry down in darker color but she is a gorgeous i cannot wait to show you guys the review my other hand to compare the two so you can see on this hand how smooth my hand is you don't see any veins and on this hand it's a little dry you're seeing my blue veins you're seeing you know just any hyperpigmentation i do have on my hands natural hyperpigmentation this foundation is bay. i cannot actually wait to wear her wear her and everything that I purchased will be listed down below in the description box. So you can check out shades, you can check out pricing. That'll all be down there. So next thing is, I did purchase this Fashion Fair primer. <laughs> I do have a video coming up about all the Fashion Fair products that I did purchase. So stay tuned for that but i did buy the fashion fair primer this is she she's so cute and being that i did a review on her i'm not gonna like tell you too much just tune into the review next thing i did purchase was the fashion fair set it loose powder i think during my video i told you guys for show for show i was gonna buy these items and then I have one more thing from Fashion Fair. And then I also did purchase this red lipstick from Fashion Fair in the color Cat Fight. She's super cute, super catty. And I like her, I feel like she's just, I don't know, she just gives me old school, like, oh, just throw your lipstick in your cosmetics bag kind of look. I really, really like her. And then the next thing that I purchased, oh my gosh, I cannot wait, absolutely freaking luli cannot wait to put this lipstick on and show you guys what she is working with so i did get the makeup by mario mario ultra suede lipstick matte lipstick in the color erin so this is the box pretty standard for a lipstick size i believe this is what the packaging looks like cute sleek kind of boring in my opinion but whatever y'all the color and i <laughs> can't say too much so this is erin she is gorgeous okay gorgeous and i like that in the front of the lipstick it says makeup i think it says mario it says by mario in the front of it that little detailing is so cute and i'm not sure if you guys can see i don't know if the camera's picking up the detail of it but i don't know if you guys have a beauty blender you look at your beauty blender it's kind of like textured that is exactly what the lipstick looks like it looks so textured but not in a bad way and i just fell in love with it. like i didn't even want to use it it kind of just reminds me of like i don't know how to like a, like a beauty blender honestly like it's just te like little just textured it's not like a smooth situation however when you do apply it you don't feel the texture of it when you do apply it it does get smooth to kind of finish that textured you kind of get rid of that textured finish because i did try it on so i'm just gonna give a little swatch for you guys erin is Ooh, let me turn this down before i mess you up 
So this is what Erin looks like. She is absolutely beautiful. And one thing I like about this color Erin is that on different skin tones as well, I mean, all lipsticks are like that. It just looks very different. And I feel like her undertones are going to drag me to a whole nother world. I feel like if I put on a brown lip liner, I feel like she's going to really pop. When I did try it on, she did match my skin color, which didn't look bad. Like, it was just, it was just like the perfect nude for me. I don't know. Like, you can't tell right now because she's coming off kind of purplish. But I, like I said, once I pair her with a nice brown lip liner and really, you know, outline my lips and pronounce them, I have look little pouty and put Erin on I know she's going to be gorgeous oh my gosh and I actually had a few other colors that I didn't want to try by makeup by Mario but like I told you guys I was kind of like I, I don't know like he's not grabbing me but honestly the texture of the lip glow the texture of the lipstick was phenomenal as far as like how it looks and how it felt on my lips and yeah I don't know makeup by Mario this is my second this is my second makeup by Mario situation so I don't know I might become a fan I don't know because his products be hitting I ain't gonna lie they be hitting okay and last but not least in this box which is new to me I actually found out that all of her stuff come in this box even if you're ordering it from Sephora it comes in a box in a box but whatever I like that because she's 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 protecting the goods so I did get the retro palette by Natasha Denona Open it up. Nah, she is like, y'all not gonna come for me and tell me that your palette got broken up and I gotta give you another one. I like that. <laughs> then it comes in this other like cardboardish thing. And then it comes in its own little box. So this again, this is the Natasha Denona Retro Palette. This is the new Retro Palette. I know she has like a previous one. Ooh, isn't she pretty? Oh, wow. Say it with me. Ooh, ah. And when you open her, she has a really, really, really big mirror right here. And these are her colors. Again, when I told you guys, I said that I want to kind of step out of my comfort zone when it comes to colors. You guys know I'm always in my nudes. Even today, y'all stepped it up. Y'all see? Got a little pink and red in there and a deep purple. But I also felt like this palette was also safe. So if I wanted to tone it down, I had neutrals that allowed me to tone it down. I have some shimmers that allow me to, you know, add a little bit of spunk in my life. And I have some deeper colors, especially for the fall winter season that we're in. So I'm pretty excited to get this palette and go round. If you guys want to see an eye look with this palette, just comment down below and I will I will get you one. You guys can also send me some inspo because your girl yeah, I, gotta, I gotta get back you know I used to be a little cre I used to be more creative when it came to eyeshadow but now I'm just like ah you know today I did a nice little cut crease though how y'all how like that but anyway that's it but yeah so that'll conclude this video those are all the items that I purchased even though I like I told y'all I didn't order a lot I do feel like I ordered enough and I feel like I ordered enough things to feel satisfied like whoo I have some new makeup I have some new things to play with and I like that I have more stuff to add to my collection so now I feel like I have a variety of things I already had a variety but now I really have more variety and I'm really really I can't stop thinking about her but I really really cannot wait to try this makeup by Mario lipstick make sure you guys follow me on Instagram which is at yellowberry I have it linked down below you guys might see it there first but I can't wait to put her on I also cannot wait to wear this lawless longwear foundation okay cannot wait cannot wait cannot wait and also like I said make sure you guys stay not stay tuned make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so that you guys do not miss when i put out the lawless foundation review so with all of that being said i want to thank you all for tuning into today's video please drop a comment down below let me know what items did you purchase let me know what items you want me to give you a review on let me know anything just comment down below make sure you give this video a big thumbs up make sure you hit that red subscribe button i love you all and i will see you in the next one Bye.